My Winter Weather Outlook, Friday at 6 on Local 3 News. I've said it before, I will say it again. We have fun playing event planner for you here on 3 Plus U, but there's so many fun things going on around the area, and maybe you would never know about it if you weren't watching our show. So here's one for you this morning. On Friday, November 4th, and the days to follow, you want to make a point to go and visit the In Town Gallery on Fraser Avenue. Barbara Mernan says be sure and come this Friday, though, because they're going to have a little cocktail hour for you to come and enjoy while you shop some of our city's best art so good to see you well thank you very much so I mean it is true we kind of get Halloween out of the way and now mm -hmm. we're knee-deep into the holiday season with Christmas so you have recently just um, done a big switch out in the gallery to have this season's mm -hmm. art displayed right we sure have it is it's really fun I was at the gallery yesterday and walked in and everything was just being placed on the walls and you know it, it's oh. cleared out head to toe but you know what? I think that's interesting to just kind of have the visual concept of the gallery being empty at the mm -hmm. moment. Because if you've ever um, maybe moved into a new house or you're changing out a room and you just want to hang some art and mm -hmm. almost everyone says or thinks, I want it to look like a gallery. There's artistry in even knowing how to hang the pieces. Oh my gosh, yes. I mean, I'm a jeweler. I go into cardiac arrest if somebody would tell me that I would need to go ahead and place. It really is an art mm -hmm. and it's so much fun. I mean, you just see those walls come to life again. Mm -hmm. Yes, because you want the flow. You want mm -hmm. your eye to go one piece of the next. Right. Isn't that right? Yes, it is. So you must have uh, a great dilemma facing you because there are so many fantastic artists in Chattanooga. You can't possibly have space for all of them. Well, you don't, but and we welcome new artists in, but everything at our gallery is local mm -hmm. so we have 24 different artists in different mediums and it, we're all local who have you brought with you today is this yours that is mine that is my newest piece which was uh, finished last week it's beautiful so I'm I'm happy with it do you find Barbara that people can wear jewelry that they think they can't wear they just have to learn to have the confidence oh my to gosh. wear it absolutely absolutely i've i've talked to women oh i'm too small i can't do it well i'm not a big woman but it's all what's up here right and you can carry it off it's not scary i love what you're wearing that you made uh, this piece that you've done though is really very versatile because with the colored stones in it they uh, can play as a neutral to all different clothing oh backdrops. absolutely absolutely you can wear it with blue jeans. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's a dress up, dress down. Yep, a V-neck sweater mm -hmm. or a scoop yeah. neck or whatever yeah, it and might it's, be. It's art you wear. Right. Now, who is the glass blower? Oh, here? this is Sean Price. He does just phenomenal work. He act, we're very fortunate to get him. He's from Hawaii and made his way back to Chattanooga, actually a Chattanooga native, and, and lived many, many years in Maui and had his own gallery there. So well, since he has those Hawaiian ties, does he do a lot of marine oh, yes. settings? Yeah, yeah, okay. he does. And whimsical type things like dragons and whatnot. Okay. My husband and I fell in love with his work, and one, one of his pieces is sitting in our front room. It's just gorgeous. It's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, who is this? This is Lee Glasscock. And if okay. you want fun and colorful, that's Lee. I mean, her, her work is just really, really So sketchy. now you've got the bird here and the bird affixed the painting. <laughs> do they connect? Well, no, not really, but for today, yes, they do. Okay. <laughs> this uh, was staging at its finest. <laughs> oh, boy, it is. Uh, this work is from Denise Bizeau. Uh This woman is a master with a plasma torch. Hmm. And she started out doing hoods of cars and she would cut out all of, all of the little areas and turn it into a piece of art. She has evolved immensely, and oh. she's doing ink work with her metals now, and oh gosh, she's all over. I mean, there's collections in Amsterdam. She's uh, affiliated with a gallery up in New York. I mean, she's, she's very well known. You know, as we go through, we all have, your, your life comes in seasons, right? So mm -hmm. when you're in your 20s, you just wanna get your student loans paid off. And right. when you're in your 30s, you're buying Tonker, <laughs> toys and all that kind of stuff. But once you get to be a little bit older, I think all of us want a really great luxury car mm -hmm. that we can be comfortable in. Yeah. Uh, and we want to collect some pieces of art. Mm -hmm. And the things that you have in the gallery run the price point so you can know that you're buying something that's hand done here that's one of a kind. And the prices are so reasonable. Right. 
they are truly, it, our gallery just astounds me. You can visit other galleries and, and kind of go gulp, but you have to realize <laughs> these are works of art mm -hmm. in their galleries, in our galleries. But um, as far as our price point goes, not that you want to be, you know, $2.99, sure. you're not going to find that. Sure. But there's quality for the money for sure. Yes, and it just means something then. When, and you can see with the pictures that she sent, I mean, it's all different styles. 24 artists, you said, right? Yes. Represented. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine the inventory that's there. Um, now, on Friday, y'all have this habit, the first Friday of every month, mm -hmm. you welcome people in uh, for kind of a cocktail hour. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, it's... it's Put, been put together as kind of an unveiling for our front wall, our okay. featured artist. Well, this month for November, because we're going into the holiday season, and this is our bi-yearly changeover for the gallery, all of the artists are, are featured. Nice. So it's 5 to 8 this mm -hmm. Friday, mm -hmm. and then the gallery is just open as normal throughout the month. Right. Are the artists there on Friday where you can meet them? <gasps> yes, we are. Very yes, nice. Yes, we will be there. Um, great ideas for holiday gift giving too. I've already started buying. Have you really? Absolutely, in through the gallery. Um, I just think it's fantastic. And to have a chance then to meet, many of these artists will do commission work too. Yes. So if you fall in love with their style, but maybe you want something specific that you're not seeing, that's what they live for, mm -hmm. is to talk and, and see. And like with you and your jewelry before I let you run, mm -hmm. if somebody had a stone that meant something to them, even if it wasn't precious, but just a something, can you work with that? Oh, absolutely. You know, they, they, we all, I would come up with some sort of a, a sketch and see if it would work. But yes, the answer right, is yes. So here's where you want to be, is the in-town gallery on Fraser Avenue. So this uh, month's unveiling is November 4th. If you have plans and you can't make it for some reason, the shopping continues uh, and the, the artists will be there. Yes. Right? Yes. InTownGallery.com is the website, 267-9214. If you want to call and just chat a little bit, they're happy to take your call as well. We are. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Julie. Around here, we look out for each other. It's one of the best things about the communities we call home. Meet the local people from across our area who are making a difference. Fridays at 6 on Local 3 News and always online at local3news.com. Huck & Peck is in stock with thousands of pieces of furniture to deliver today. Over 125 sofas in stock. Or if you're looking for your unique custom sectional, sofa, or chair, our lead times are the fastest in the industry. Come see all we have to offer. The fire went on 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and there was no way.